right, we're gonna play round two of Can Lito Kala Match This? P42A for Molly Cell. And we're gonna max out the discharge on this device at 20 amps. You know what, I'm gonna turn off the light for you guys. Oh yeah, that's better. So this thing just got done charging about an hour ago. We're at 4.188. Let's see how far we drop. Very similar. So I'm going to go back and check that, but I kind of saw 387. And then, you know, made its way down to the low 38s. And let's kind of see after a minute where we're at. We were at like 365, 366. And we were passing 400 mile by that point. Man, this thing is just holding at 3.7. There we are, 3.71. Man, there it goes. This is a strong, strong sell. Um, we're still higher than 30T was because that was a used sell. This thing's gonna go for the entirety of four amp hours, probably. So maybe I'll cut you guys back in later. So I forgot that I uh, have this set to cut off at three volts, so we're not gonna hit four amp hours, but we're definitely gonna hit three, maybe 32. We'll turn the lights off again for you guys. She was getting pretty hot, getting in the upper 40s, really close to 50, so I went and grabbed a little 5 volt like radial blower fan that I actually had like souped up running on a QC trigger at 9 volts and just like 10, 20 seconds doing that a couple times brought the temp down to 40, probably back up to 50 by now. God, we're still at 50. So yes, it's gonna end at 35. Which means it would have pulled four amp hours had I let it go down to 2.5. Click off right about now. There you go. 35, 54. Let's turn on the lights. 46. That's not right. 48. 54. 50. 57. 56. 56. Yeah, this cell will get up to 80 degrees. If you ran this actually at its maximum discharge rate of 40 amps or whatever it's rated for, I don't know if you could run it at 45. 
So there's another NMC cell, 21700, that right off the bat only dipped down to about 387. So if you got a Lido Calo, that'll do better. Let me know.